All right, come over here. No, yes I do, because you can help me with this, even though you're not going to be in it long. <laughs> you know. <laughs> People actually like you. You're a natural. Yeah, sure. When I when I do the when I go to edit the videos and what you say is like, I'm like, this dude's a natural. <laughs> I hate it. Well, Nate's Care Garage. Yeah. I got my goofy buddy here. <laughs> We're gonna put the hood on this stupid truck. And then he's leaving, but you know, at least he won't be bothering me. Okay. I got nothing for that. I, you know. Let's see. You should be damn lucky I'm here. Yeah. Stand by. Put this goofy pole in. Hopefully for the last time. Put it down here. I want to be careful. I don't want to bend the hood. <laughs> now, what was the vision that you were speaking so, of? Yeah. What What is your vision here? Well, to take. I see me getting hurt. Well, that's all right. As long as I don't. And and I still got a big wheel over here, so we can always have you over here since you're short. This is shorter in the truck. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to find some bolts too, but that's not important. It seems it's only these two. Yeah, all the way back there. Yeah, and I think those are still on the other hood. We'll take a look at either that or we'll take these two off. And then uh, once you put the other hood on, actually, yeah, these two. I'll just prop it up. This is probably the easiest way, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, because your springs are already disconnected from right. the body, so yeah, let's do these two and pull. And we won't worry about the springs. I can hook the springs up later. Yeah, no, I'm not good. Yeah. You know, not my truck. I don't have to. You worry about what I tell you to worry about. Yeah, oh my God, it's hot in here. Uh huh. All right, where the hell's the PB blaster? Blaster, blaster! I tell you what, you're you're happy that this rusty old owner helped you put some damn clutch in your car. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're still on that. Of course, are you kidding me? That, that was a lot. No, no, as much work as that was, I'm gonna milk that. I'm gonna so milk that. <laughs> now they took it off from the other ones, left the hinges on it. And that might not be a bad idea. Because of the well, that's interesting. I may have to take it off that way. No. Because that's hooked to this. I can change it later. Yeah. Correcti Mundo! Imagine that, a 10 millimeter. I would have never guessed it. And you only put out one millimeter in 10 socket. Eh, wrong. Okay. You know what I'm thinking is, uh. No, be careful. Well, see, the thing is. One of us has to think around here, it's obviously not you. Blah, blah, blah. I loosen them up, tighten them up, and now I'm gonna shoot them with a little more stuff so that let me get it down in there. They've been over here a minute or two. What the air ratchet? I don't care. Whew, man. Probably five miles long. Both are six, yeah, 16 miles long there. And ah, dang it. Air tool oil. Air tool oil, yeah. Well, I go back a few more years than you, and you can make all the smart ass comments you want about that. I mean, just because you were working when I was born. Yeah. You could get it, but we didn't mess with it. We just used the uh, transmission fluid in the shop. Around it, go inside of it. I don't want to get 
don't like Eddie. Stop what you're doing. Uh -huh. I don't. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Just make sure <laughs> you don't pull it and cut it's it. Loose, no? it's loose. Uh -huh. Wow. Damn. Yeah, that movement. Yeah, this buddy. Got bent. It jacked it good. Huh? I said this. When it got bent, it really jacked it up good. Over oh yeah, here, this hood is bad. All right. What I'm gonna do is put the anti seize on, run them back up in. Okay. I want to make them easier to move in and out when we're down to you know holding the damn hood. Yeah. <laughs> the anti seize makes a bunch of difference. how easy that is to work with now. <clears throat> Off here, damn it. Careful, that's a real tool. Shit, yeah, shit. Oh, it's on. Y'all ever see this stupidity? So, this, fine, it works. This thing gets in the way. The real tool was the problem that he couldn't take the bolts out of the drive shaft on his silver car yes it was you were up against this until I handed you a real tool without one of them <laughs> oh, you mean like a wrench? <laughs> all right now that's about about as easy as that's going to get I mean it's not going to get much easier so right. just because it's old I think I got enough blaster in there. The more I vibrate the hood, the more it drips out to the back. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I want plenty of blaster on it. Every bolt on this truck has been a chore. A lot of them I had to cut off. In fact, I broke. Yeah, I thought there was a couple of the stuff he was going to lose too. We may have to work on that front one. That's what I was and we got to go back in. Jack. Yeah, we have to go back in on that. Oh. Yeah, they do get hot. <laughs> Dainty little fingers there. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't. You working on an old truck like this, an old vehicle, especially if you had had rust problems with every, you all have watched this. I don't know how many bolts I've cut off. Spray them down, go with PB blaster, whatever you use. Um, you know, you can use that stuff with the letter number, but um, I wouldn't. <laughs> then you want to take them out. that bad boy <laughs> tightening it up first right oh she's in there I mean is it tight is it is, is it tightened in all right let's break it hold on let's break it loose first before we use the crazy oh you know you got it out of there yeah drive it in a little bit before you bring it back out Oh, 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 shit. oh, what the hell? No, wait, stop everything. Yeah, you, there's something. I got my fingers out of here and just let that rest a second. All right, move, move your arm. Oh my, it's out. I got it. I got it. It's oh. resting here. Yeah, here's what you did. Look, look. See that? There. Oh, I gotta fix that. It was, more shit I gotta fix that other people did. Right. That one, 
All right, so go, ahead. Mine's out and go to the other side right. and finish your side. Same. Yep, I got this. That's okay. I got the hood. I got the hood on this side, but the well, trick you is you gotta you gotta have to, you're gonna have to get the. You left me good. Just relax. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Exactly. Wow. No hood. Yeah. It's easy to work on now. It's badass. I'm telling you. We just leave it like that. Yep. I'm good with it. All right, we're done. Thanks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Um, okay. We gotta get the other hood up here and get the bolts out of it. Yep. Okay. All right, just set it right here in the grass right now. Over a little bit so it sets up straight here. Oh. There you go, all right. Now we can get these out. What we do with the rusty bolts is you want to spray them good with PB Blaster, pull them out some. Don't use air tools at first, just use your hand tools. Pull them out some, spray them down again, run them back in, spray the backside of them again, and then run them out. You want to make sure they're nice and clean so they don't wind up binding up and breaking something because, you know, I've broken so many bolts off the stupid thing or cut them off. And that's the same one, pretty much anything if you got a rusty vehicle. All right. Yep. And the tools. Come on around front so we, we just let's get square for it. All right, now. Yeah, I think you are. Can you grab it there? Alright, so actually I was holding it wrong too. <laughs> Alright. Let's get those rested in the corners. No problem, my pleasure. All right, you want to grab the uh, pole? Oh, yes, yeah, right, it's right over here. Uh, just go grab my pole there. Give me, give, no, give me the, the broom handle there. Yeah. Duh. God, you're simple. Hey, it's my dad of mine. I knew you liked my ride suit. Uh-huh. You're the one that was standing over here and hid it from me. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Shut up, you. Yeah, that's what happened. Whew. Well, I'm glad it's up here. It's even cooler under here. <laughs> I said it's even cooler under here. <laughs> I am not going to complain. Alright, give me a lift up. Smart ass. That's as high as it goes? I don't know, it's not moving. Alright, hold on. We... Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm pulling up, oh, not pushing. Duh. <laughs> oh, you got it? Shut up. Out <laughs> of words. Did Ford do their oh. job? Ford did their job. Well, for once. I think you're lying, but it has something to do with it. I mean, they built something that worked, is what I'm saying. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe I got a hood that stays up. Yep. Thank you. I wonder what it looks like when you put it down. <laughs> oh! It shot! Did it? It did shut, shut all the way. Definitely off. <laughs> See, are we. 
Yeah, and it's got two. This one has to come back again a little bit, and the hinge has got to go down. First, I'm gonna do is just take it back because you see, I got a big gap here, and I got like no gap here. Matter of fact, I'm slightly over, and there's a bigger gap there than it is here. Yeah, oh, shit, now I gotta actually use the door though. Let's see what that looks like. Might have gone too far. That looks good. And it might be the fender adjustment too. That's the fender I replaced. And it's still this way. Ah, oh, you know what? Fighting myself here like a dummy. Wood latch. Dang it. Come on now. Hood latch is off. Quite a bit. Damn. <laughs> I'll just take one look at it and see it's off. Now we're on the other side. It's not cold and it's not raining, but it's 90 degrees. I got the tent up here. And you could use a vent up there because I can feel it hot up in here. If I had a vent up there, we'd go out. Whatever. <laughs> what I'm doing is adjusting everything. Um, I'm actually going to pull this off because it's all rusty and it looks like heck. So, got this out. And let's see. I'm not sure how it comes out, but it looks fairly simple. To me, like just gonna pop out of there just pop out of it just pop right out of there just pop right out of there um yeah it doesn't just pop right out of there let's see if i can help it a little bit without breaking it And it pops right out of there. <laughs> On this side, you just need a little convincing side here. Let's see. All right, this, this little clip goes over there. Take that clip off of there like that. It just holds, I don't want to lose that. It just holds this from popping off like that. Now I got this. I can sand this thing down and paint it and make it look nice. Now we're going to adjust the hood. Put it down here and I'm looking and over on this side here, it's a little low. On this side here, it's a little high. I'm gonna adjust this and get this down. Well, 10 millimeter. Loosen these two up here a little bit. There it goes. That darn springs are messing with me. Let's see what that looks like. That can go down just a little bit more. Not really lower than this. Let me take a look at something here. Could be this bump stop. There. My guess is I can get these. 
with that shot. Amazing. Rust stopping plant from going into plastic. Anyway. All right, so now I have to move it this way. Well, if you notice, we're down here and see that really tight gap there? Yeah. However, back here, we're right flat with the fender right where I want it height wise. When you come over here though, we have a big gap all the way back. I've got the right height here, but yeah. There's our gap here, which is nearly identical to our gap here. Yep, that's much better. Yep, back looks good. Tighten her up. Well, I got the sandblaster out, and this is $20, $30 at Harbor Freight. Boy, I think I'm almost out. I still got some in there and um, get the if you get one of these you got to get the fine sand because the coarse sand will just run out will clog the nozzle this can get into all them little spots you can't get with sandpaper and you've got like a spring here you can't sand a spring but I can make a spring look like new with this go like new Last cabinet would be nice because you don't run out, it just filters down. Like newish. Okay, that's good to go. After that, you won't get this junk off you. There you go, it's all painted. We put the rust encapsulator on it. Even though we didn't have any rust on, we got it gnawed off. And now I put a nice shiny black paint on it. Now we're ready to put it back on. Yep, hold on, I won't do anything. And he sees. Then on there is all you need. Ah, here we go. That's good. Upside down. Two? Well, I got ANCs all over every damn thing. Of course you do. Oh. Cable. There you go, cable. Get it. Get it. All right, we're going to get this back in here. And it goes in right here. Something like that. And it snaps in. I figured it did. All right. I'm just gonna move this aside a little bit. We're gonna pop that wire around there and that's it. Yeah, 
and it's got a clip side on it so it'll clip on to this and that way you don't lose that off just like that All right, we know the hood's lined up. Let's see where it lands when we shut it. Starting to look like something. Ah, well, that's nice. Yeah. Well, Strappy finally got her hood on. It's been a minute. I appreciate Paul's help. He's a goofball, but he's my buddy. And as far as that goes, that's going to finish up for this hot edition of Ain't Scared Rise, because I'm going to clean this metal up. I'm going into the air conditioner. See ya. Ah, ah.